All right, on with the transmitter setup. <clears throat> this is where we're going to set our um, our channel reverses, our sub trims to zero out um, in the software in the Spartan, and our travel limits to show 100. And we're going to set up our flight modes. And this is the first question that it asks: Is do you want to use flight modes, aka bank switching? And yes, why would you not want to use that? Okay, and we're going to hit yes. We're going to hit next. Okay. Now, here's the first thing that we do is we're going to make sure that everything reads zero in the middle. Um, make sure that everything reads 100 at full deflection, and we're going to make sure that everything is moving uh, the correct direction. So, let me back this up and kind of put the transmitter right there so you can see that. All right, so this is going to take, we're going to do, for the main screen, we're going to go to servo setup, and here we have travel, sub trim, and reverse. All right, so that's what we're going to be using for each channel. So we'll start with, um, already, you can see on um, negative 92 pitch, and it is going the uh, correct direction. <clears throat> if I move the stick up, then it's, um, um, it shows 91. And I'm going to go to my monitor to my monitor screen and set it to zero. And we are at zero, so I don't need to mess with the sub trim on that or the reverse. But I do need to adjust the uh, travel. So I'm going to go to my servo travel. I'm going to go to the pitch channel. I'm going to go to full stick, to full positive, and I'm going to crank that up until it reads 100 on the screen. Same thing with negative. Okay. Let's double check it. Wasn't quite hitting the stick hard enough. Alright, you can see everything is already zeroed, so there's no reason to uh, sub trim anything. Um, so it doesn't read 100, and so I put a little pressure on the stick. I'm going to leave it like that. Alright, so we're just going to go and um, <clears throat> we're going to go and check the rest of these channels. First, I'm going to check uh, elevator, make sure it's going the correct direction. It is, so I don't need to reverse that aileron. Aileron is not going the correct direction. When I pull, when I move the stick right, it goes left. So I need to go, I need to go to my reverse function, go to aileron and reverse it. I just did. Now it's going in the correct direction. So elevator is moving the correct di direction. Aileron rudder is also reversed. So. Okay, rudder is now correct. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shut the camera off, and I'm going to go ahead and adjust the rest of the travel limits here, um, and then I'll be back. All right, so that is all good. Everything is 100. Everything is 100 at the extremes. Everything is zeroed out. Everything is moving in the correct direction. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next tab. Uh, next tab is throttle. We don't need to worry about the throttle. Uh, at all at this point uh, since we're not setting up the governor at this point so completely ignore that the next one is um, link flight mode screen that is uh, the bank switching this goes through uh, your gyro channel Here, let's back this up let's see if we can get the screen transmitter screen in here Alright, so if we go to gyro, alright, we have it set to uh, gear channel and F mode switch so that when we switch through our flight modes from normal to idle up one, idle up two, and then throttle hold, it switches down here. So now we need to get the correct values for the gyro menu and the transmitter to link the, the uh, 
the flight modes in the software. So you can see here I'm in normal. Okay, I'm in idle up one, idle up two, and then throttle hold. Now I just kind of scrolled the wheel until I found the right values, but actually if you go to Spartan RC and we click on the Pico and we go to, well, actually we don't even need to go click on the Pico, we just go to the top and hit support and then we have some kind of some FAQ um, stuff here. It's actually really good. There's some really good info in here. You really ought to have a good read of it. Go to installation and setup and the very first question here is how do I set up my transmitter so the flight mode, normal, idle one, etc. matches the corresponding mode in the gyro and lucky for me it, has, it uses a Spectrum DX8 which is what I use as a uh, example here and so we set up the flight mode to F mode, hold to hold, um, gyro to F mode, and then here's the values that we use for each flight mode to get the uh, um, to get the bank switching or the flight mode switching to work. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera and I'm going to go ahead and set, even though mine is working the way it is, I'm just going to go ahead and set the values to the way it says on the screen here. I will be right back. Alright, moving back to the software, I've got um, I set it up like they had on the website. It was normal mode is negative 50, stunt 1, or idle up 1, 0, idle up 2, 50, and hold is 100. And so we're going to flip through these. I'm in normal mode. Uh, N is highlighted. Idle up 1, idle up 2, and hold. So there we go. We're all good there. And we are going to move on to the next tab. And the next tab is we are finished with the uh, transmitter setup. Uh, the next one is um, uh, sensor setup, and we're going to take a brief break.